What makes you hairless? What the heck? Hi guys, so I got some really exciting news today. Wilma's DNA results came in. I sent them out February 28th, I believe, and I just received them, so today is the, the 9th, today is the 10th. I saw them, but I wasn't able to film until today. I'm also not using my regular camera, and I'm really sorry if the audio is weird and like the picture is weird. I'm filming on a different camera because I'm at my parents' house right now, but I can't wait any longer to see these results. So a little background on Wilma before I reveal the results. I got her at a shelter in a really rural area. She was a puppy. She just weighed like, you know, just under three pounds, I think. She had previous owners, but they were, you know, not great owners. They didn't get her vaccinated at all, didn't get any of her puppy vaccinations. And when I ended up adopting her, she got parvo shortly after that, which could have easily been prevented if she got vaccinated. Hey, Wilma, calm down. She gets always very, like, stimulated whenever I film videos. I don't know why it is, because she does not usually like this. But yeah, we adopted her from a shelter in a really rural area, so I have no background history on her whatsoever. I have no idea where she came from, what she is. On her vet charts, we do have her down as a Chinese crested, and that's what I use when I do the hashtags on her Instagram. I do like Chinese crested mix or whatever, because I do believe she's a Chinese crested, but I'm not sure. The DNA results will tell me that very soon. But yeah, Wilma is hairless. She does have hair on her back. She does grow hair on her back. Um, we do keep it short. However, you can still always see the skin underneath her hair. She does grow a little bit of hair on her feet, but again, you can see her skin underneath all of her hair throughout her body. You know, that's that's Wilma. That's a little bit of history on Wilma. Wilma does have an Instagram if you're interested in following it. It's Willy Nilly Bobilly, and I'll write that down on the screen and in the description bar if you're interested, but I really, really am curious about these test results. Okay. So, oddly enough, she doesn't have any Chinese crested in her. The DNA results say that she's 37.5% miniature poodle, 35.7% um, chihuahua, 12.5% cocker spaniel, and then 12.5% mixed breeds. We are not gonna hump. We are not gonna do any humping. And then the mixed breeds that she has is terrier, sporting, and hound. Oh, let's see the ancestry tree. So this will be a little bit hard to follow, so I will leave the family tree picture on the video. So one parent of Wilma's was Chihuahua and Miniature Poodle Crossbreed, which is really cute. That's like a very cute little combo. And then another parent, it says, was a, mi a Miniature Poodle Cocker Spaniel Chihuahua mix. Her grandparents were Miniature Poodle Cocker Spaniel and then Chihuahua and then Chihuahua mix. Um, great, great grandparents are all um, Chihuahua Miniature Poodle Cocker Spaniel and then mixed breed. So this is very interesting. Wilma, I cannot believe that you don't have any Chinese crested in you. What makes you hairless? What the heck? I think Miniature Poodle does make sense. She actually did come in as a Westie Poodle mix. I don't think that woman really knew what she was talking about when she brought Wilma in as a Westie Poodle mix but I guess she was kind of right about the poodle part. That's cute Wilma, you're a little Miniature Poodle. Do you think the Chinese Crested community will still love you? I think it's so weird that she didn't come out as a Chinese Crested. This doesn't look like Wilma at all. What the heck? Oh my gosh, and that's so weird. So like this miniature poodle, it has the miniature poodle being down as 15 pounds. Wilma is only 5.8 pounds and Wilma's also full grown. Like she's not gonna be doing any more growing after this. But the Chihuahua, she must really just get her size from the Chihuahua part, which she does have a lot, a lot of Chihuahua in her. So that's, um, you know, Chihuahuas are between two and nine pounds usually. And I think that Willie looks like a little Chihuahua, but you're hairless. Why are you hairless? Why are you hairless? You are so cute! And then, let's see, the Cocker Spaniel is interesting too. But also very cute. Like, I, the fact that she was a shelter puppy amazes me regardless of what breed she is. Like, do you see this? How interesting. 
even cocker spaniels are pretty big like t like 19 to 36 pounds I literally don't understand her size still. But also what is interesting is the Chinese Crested Breed is still a terrier mix and she does have terrier mix in her. So, um, I don't know. A standard schnauzer is another terrier mix and she does kind of have like a little schnauzer beard which is really cute. Also not sure if I already said this but I did do it through wisdom panel so that's what these DNA results are. Yeah, oh Willie, <gasps> Willie, so you're a little chihuahua poodle? Are you a little chihuahua poodle? I still don't understand why she's hairless but I mean she is what she is. I love her so much. She's the best little dog. Um, we have a lot of fun together. I hope that these results were interesting to you. They were quite interesting to me. I'm still going to use the Chinese Crested hashtag on Instagram because I love this breed, this Chinese Crested breed. I really thought that she was a Chinese Crested. I'm kind of shook about it. She even has like the little boots that they have. Um, just her hair is a little less lush, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Next video, I'll have my um, regular setup. If you're interested in following Wilma on Instagram, her Instagram is at willynellybobelli. We do update it quite frequently because she's a busy girl with a lot of cute pictures. Oh, Wilma, you're going to be able to see your score. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I see you next time. Wilma, say bye. Can you say bye to the camera? No, you don't care to. <laughs>